Today on In the Woodyard, we're going to look at trees and we're going to talk about trees. We're going to identify trees. trees. Here we go. So what do we got it? here? What we have here, folks, is the cedar. Now we get to look at the... Here, hold it down so you can get it down here. You look can it against the against snow. Some. The deer love eating on these. Yeah. There's deer tracks all over. We're actually out on an old dead beaver pond here. We had some coyote traps we came to pull today. The dam is right here. We're actually standing we're above standing, it. I'm standing on a beaver Right dam. here is the bark of the cedar tree. Yep. So you can see it's kind of real long grain looking. It's got real stringy peely bark. Yeah, yeah. And then here's a dead one right over here. So one with no leaves on it. Yep. And you can see how, how the tops, the structure of it. A lot of times it'll, the trunks are super straight. With a yeah. little curve too. I mean, they're I mean they're straight, but it's got a curve. But all these trees in front of us here are all dead because they got flooded from the beaver. That whole stand of trees back over there, if you show, you can see all them tree yeah. tops, and we're all yeah. dead, flooded out by beaver. They killed all these trees. Yeah. So that's cedar. Let's go to another one. Okay. Okay. This is balsa fir. This is what everybody wants to make their wreaths out of around here. Real and popular. Christmas trees. Yep. Christmas. Christmas trees, trees and wreaths. And those are real straight, and they're very cone shaped when they get big. Real cone shaped. Yeah. Real, real straight. Yep, yep. And right over here is a hemlock. And the deer have really been browsing. If you look underneath here, all these tracks that just yeah. got snowed over, but a lot of deer the tracks. deer have been really munching on this on this hemlock. This is hemlock bark. And this is where and I right, was showing yesterday if I could get some bark off. It's real purple underneath. I don't I don't have a hatchet or anything, but, yeah, but here's the, what it looks like going up, and then here's the branch. It's similar it, to uh, yeah. balsam, but smaller, right. smaller you needles. Compare, yeah. You compare them side by side, you can see the difference. See how short the needle are compared to these? Yeah, there's the balsam. Here's the hemlock. And that's hemlock. Okay, well, right here behind us, we got, uh, we got hard maple right here. These two. These two are both hard maple. I mean, we're looking at them in the wintertime with no snow. Here's a black ash right over here. This small one. Yeah. That's black ash. And that's a dead tree there. That's what the bark looks like. So here's a bigger black ash. You got a little bit better look at it, a different size tree than that small one we just showed you. And like on the balsam fir right here, now you can see the bark on balsam. And they get these little these little things here are full of sap. If you can see that sap coming out of there. Yeah. We used to do that as kids. You take a little bitty stick, get a little bit of that sap on there, throw it in the water, and it would actually propel that stick. It would spin around like little bolts and stuff. Yeah. So anyways, but it if you get great. it on your hands, it smells really good. But it stays for a long it time. It stays on your hands like glue. Yeah. Okay, we got a yellow birch over here. So here's your yellow birch, you can see this. Yeah, right here's some really good oniony skin yeah, stuff. Yeah, onion skin. Right there, and you can see the color of it is quite different than white birch. It's actually yellowish, kind of uh, creamy colored. Real good fire starter, just like white birch. Here's another yellow birch here. Real good firewood too. Yeah, let's walk out here in the beaver pond. Here's another hemlock. It's, yeah, yeah. The beaver got flooded. Yeah, another big hemlock. Here we got soft maple, otherwise known as red maple. This one, this one, and this little one over here. See how smooth that is. Get little different sized trees here. But real nice firewood yet, real nice straight wood. Yep. Yeah. And then we got some cut. we got some paper birch over here. And yellow birch here, side by side. You can tell you. Oh yeah, young look ones. Look at side by side. So here you got, here you got the paper birch, white birch we call it, and then right behind Chris there is the yellow birch. So that's pretty obvious the difference between them two. Yeah, yellow right there, white or paper right here. Well, there went a grouse. There goes another one. Yeah. Here is a cherry right here. I see. Oh yeah. yeah we spotted a cherry. So um, there goes another grouse. Yep. Three of them. There's another one up there. Oh yeah, I see the blob see up there. Yeah. See them? Yeah, that's four I of them. I doubt they're gonna see it in the cameras for Probably far. not. So anyways, this is your cherry. cherry. This is typical cherry. Yeah. I don't know if we got anything else here. And we already looked at cedar. 
I think we covered what's in this area. We're gonna have to go someplace else. Back here behind me, that big, tall, fluffy looking green tree. The one you see right there. And it's all irregular, it's real wide on the top. That is a white pine. Yeah, it's a big one. And that's, you can identify that 100 miles away if you know what you're looking for. You don't have to walk up to it and look at it and look at the needles, that's a white pine. Yeah. And we're gonna show you somewhere out here across the river of some other trees you can identify just by the shape. Okay, so here's that white pine we were showing just right out here by the truck. Just by looking at the shape of it, I'm just, it's a white pine. Yeah. yeah. And to the left of it over here, that pointed, real pointed one, that's your balsam fir. The real pointed one, right? Yep. There. The one in there, that's a balsam, that's a but balsam. the one next to it is... That's a cedar. A cedar, right? There, that one. Yep. And over here to Chris's left is quaking aspen. We just call it popple. I'm going to walk up to it here. But there it is, that's what the bark looks like. So here's the white pine bark up close. It's real rough. And the young white pine, or the limbs as they're smaller, are real smooth. There you go. Here's a real young uh, cherry tree, real smooth. And as it gets older, it'll start roughing up like this. It'll get real rough. It's got a disease in it, but it's smooth until it gets older. And then it'll start separating like this here, and you'll get a lot, a lot deeper cracks. But right, this one right here is a young, smooth, smooth bark uh, cherry. Okay, here we go. We got some uh, ironwood. Ironwood is kind of an understory tree. You know, they're always kind of growing underneath everything else. They never get super big. It, yeah, this is this it. is like an average, average size. You don't really get. I mean, I've seen them bigger, but they, this is like an average size. And they're kind of got real irregular branches. I mean, they kind of very. You know, there's very a couple horizontal of, limbs. They here's go straight a, out, pretty much like this. You see the limbs go straight out. Here's a young one right here. This is what they look like when they're smaller. And here they hold their leaves a lot of times. This is what their yep, leaves look yep, like. Yeah, it's here. February now, and they still got leaves on from last year. Right. I'm looking for some variety here. A lot of ash trees looks like in here. Maple, yeah. hard maple. Hard maple, ash, yeah. Yeah. Here's another, another ironwood over here. Or hornbeam. So you can see the bark. And you can see the shape of the tree. So here is another cherry tree, a bigger one. Put my hand by it so you can see it's, I don't know, eight inch or nine inch, but it's got a burl started, which cherry trees have a lot of burls. A lot of burls grow on cherry trees. Another one right there starting. So you can see the structure as it goes up. Yeah, so back when I was logging, if I could cut trees like these here, these are tall, these are running, you know, seven stick trees, you know. A stick being 100 inches long, so, and they're fairly clean, they're not real limmy. Real Th nice. This is real nice, nice timber. This has all been thin. This was thinned out, I don't know, maybe five years ago. So this probably won't be touched again or thinned out for another 15, 20 years. So yeah, a lot of nice trees in this yeah, area right know, here. Basically when they come in and do a, a, the first thinning, they take out all the crappy trees, they leave the better stuff. And that's this is nice stuff here. Yeah, this would be beautiful to cut. It's for sale too. Yeah, it's for <laughs> sale. Let's go to a new spot. So what do you got here? Here we have oak. This is northern red oak. It's real smooth. These are young trees. Look at that. They left you some prizes there. Some yep. nails. <laughs> look at their look at their nails. Yep. Nice. This is a young red oak, so it's smoother bark. Yeah. As it gets older, the bark starts separating more. It and gets a little rougher. Like this and lots rougher. Yeah, I don't but see. nice size stuff. This would be beautiful firewood. Oh yeah. You can see where the sap suckers been on it. That's what these marks are from. Them are woodpeckers. They're called sap suckers because that's what they do is they suck the sap. Yeah. Right behind you here is a cluster of soft maple. Cluster of soft maple. See how smooth it is. Yeah, there's a big difference between young trees and older trees. We're right. gonna try to find a mixture. I do have some red oak in my yard, but they're like pasture trees, they're all big bushies. And yeah. if you look up on these, you see you notice the leaves are on from last year, yet still that's another easy way to see an oak tree going down the road yep. in the winter time here. Yep, and if you look at the leaves, they're pointed. You can see they're sharp, sharp points on them, which is an indicator. Yeah, oh, here's, a, here's a leaf right here. Yeah. So that's your northern red oak leaf. Yeah. 
There's a whole cluster of them here. Yep, this is basswood. You see the shape of them? And one thing about basswood I've always noticed, see this cluster right over behind you here? That's it grows real, like, real common, have clumps. It like grows that. in clusters like yep. that. Here's a young basswood, actually. This is what it looks like when it's very young. Yeah. Real smooth. It's a real soft wood. It makes really good stretchers for stretching fur. That's what I use it for. Yeah. Real good for uh, carving. Yep. I'll go over this cluster and take a look at that. Yeah, I know guys that carve, you know, make uh, decoys and stuff like that. Yeah. It's a real soft hardwood. Yeah, so that's what it looks like. There's a whole big clump of it. So here's a mature one. One that's a little bit younger. The texture on it. So right here's the young one. And the mature one. And they get real big. How big the uh, basswood get? Oh, I've seen basswood this big, but that's yeah. not normal. This is kind of an average size here, you know, 12, 14, 16 inches. And they're real common, they get hollow and break off. So here's a couple small white ash. And actually there's, a, this is black ash. This is getting deep. Yep, a lot of snow. Okay, so these are white ash. This is a, this is a, actually, this is an elm. That's a dead elm. Oh yeah, yeah, I can and see And these are white green. ash, yeah. and that looks very similar. That's real hard to tell. Yeah. I mean, I can tell, but yeah, I don't know if you can. That's a dead elm. Are you sure? It looks like a maple on the ends here. New. It actually might be ash. No, I'm looking at that bark. Might be ash. Boy. Now, sometimes it's hard to tell. Yeah. I think, I think that this is, is this is actually black ash here though. Yeah, so here's so this is white here. And this you're not gonna be able to tell the difference. This one is black. It's got a little more rough texture. Yeah, it's it's hard to it, when you get these different age trees, it could it could really fool you. All right. Well All that's right. the thing. A young tree versus a middle-aged tree old, versus an old tree. And we got no leaves to show you. It's in the winter time, so this makes it difficult. Right, but that's what you got to know. Because when you're dealing with cut, cut wood or logs. <laughs> or firewood. Yeah, you got to know what you've got. Yep. Black spruce. I don't know if you look at the bark on that. And black spruce does not get very big. It's got real short little needles on it. Spiky, sharp yep. needles too. Picky pickies. But there's the bark. And a black spruce is uh, very good for paper making. Uh, they love it. They love it because it's real light. It's very light wood and very strong for the for the weight of it. It's got real long, strong fibers. Yeah, there's another one right here. Here's another one here. A whole bunch of them here. Yeah. So I'm looking over here. We got some tamarack here. Here, how do you see it? Right up there is tamarack. Yeah, one right behind. It looks it. like it's dead. But actually, it's a green right tree. There. They turn yellow in the fall, and uh, the needles fall off. There's some down the tree. I don't know if we can get closer to one. I don't know. But if you short a skyline right here, yep. all these look like they're dead. That, tamarack. That's tamarack. Then we're all live trees. They just they lose their needles in the fall. Yep. And they grow in swampy areas just like this across on a swamp right here. So everything with the needles on is mostly black spruce. Yep. I do see a couple balsams tucked here and there, shorter ones. I think there's a balsam right tamarack here. Tamarack right here. Okay, yeah, here's a tamarack. Right we should have brought a hatchet or something. If you could yeah. peel some bark, you could kind of see that red. Yeah. It's kind of got like a purplish reddish to it under the bark. And we showed some on the firewood the other day. It's got a real dark... I don't know what color heart to it when you cut it. It's right here. You can see the little notch that you got yeah. there. So that's pretty much all we got. Here's a. This is a balsam, actually. Yeah. Right here. Yeah, another balsam. Yeah, it's like the a... tamaracks right here. You can see they look dead, but they're not. Yep. It's this willow right here. That's willow. Yep. Right here's some willow. There's a lot of different kinds of willow. It's, it's uh, don't ask me how did I tell you the difference. This is the pussy willow willow, right? Yeah, this is the stuff you're gonna have pussy willows on in the spring, yep. yes. Yep, and then right behind it, right next to it here, there's tamarack, which is right here. This is tamarack. That's tag alder. Our tag alder, yes. Yeah, Come on tag now. Sorry, well, I had tamarack on there. That's tag alder. 
tamarack on your brain. A lot of people just call it alder. And it grows in clumps. A big one only will get to be about, what, four or five you inches? You get one inches. that's four inches, you got a monster. And then they, they break off and fall over. Yeah, it's a short-lived brushy tree. It grows down in wet areas. Wet swamps, yeah. Down yeah. in where the beaver ponds are. And, you know, here's another willow right here. So this will have pussy willows in the spring. That's the buds that come out. Yep. Yeah, look, it'll be the buds will be right on the ends here. Hey, you've got the smorgasbord here. So here's the black spruce. We were just in the swamp. Here is a white spruce. There's the size of the needles, how much bigger they are. A little bit different texture and color. And this is red pine. You see the needles here? And there's always two. Two to a stem, right? Yeah, they, yeah. There's two. If you pull them off, there. There's always two. There's two needles to a. And they're long. And white pine are shorter, softer, shorter, and there's five. Shorter, real softer, and fluffier, there's, there's yeah. five, yep. This is jack pine. Yep. And we stopped here because we saw the jack pine, because there are some bunch of them right here. We're going to go up in yeah, here. Yeah, these are some big bush ones because they're right along the road. So, look at the bark. Right here is what the bark looks like on jack pine. There's also one right there. And they got lots of branches and... Uh, well, it's because they're growing in the open. Yeah. Yeah. And here's a younger one right over here I'll walk over to. Here's a real young one. It's the baby one. You can see the needles. And then here's one that's a little younger. This is like about a, a 10 incher here. So you can see. Well, if you want to walk over that spruce tree, there's a white spruce right over there. And there's a red pine back there too. Oh, yeah. over the red pine first, get to the bark, that's the farthest one. There's a bunch of red pine. So right here, there's red pine. You can see the bark. Yeah, I'll shine up the tree so they can see what the shape of it looks like. Yeah, all the branches are going this way because that's the light because it's an open field over here. And on this side, there's none because there's a hardwood right here. There's a basswood. So there's that and then Okay, so here's the balsam again. Yep, right here's the balsam. I'll compare that to this. Here's the bark. Compare that to this. This is white spruce. And white spruce gets big. White spruce would be 25, 30 inch. They get big. Yeah, real big. So there's the difference. So balsam's a softer. Balsam fir. Yep. Softer needles. They don't pick. And spruce is always pickier. Yep, yep. So we've got some... Yeah, my house some bigger white spruce we could show. Here's a here's an elm here. Oh yeah, walked right past it. I don't know. Like I said, I can't tell the yep. different elms apart, but this is elm. Yep, that's elm. You can see by the branches, real fine, fine branches up on top. They're like this, real, real skinny. Yeah, like I can see, it could be American elm, could be rock elm, could be slippery elm. I don't know that. Oh, here's another species. Holy cow, smorgasbord. I see Norway spruce right over here. Oh yeah, the droopy stuff, yep. Yeah. So this is Norway spruce. You see how the branches are hanging down? I don't know how to explain well, the, it. But the, the needle fro the fronds, the fi finer ones, you got your main limb, but then everything else hangs down They're hanging droopy. down. These get, droopy. They get big long cones on them. Yep. So yeah, that's a okay. Now here's a here's a bigger elm tree over here, a dead elm, bark's peeling off. Slid on there, right in your hand, right there. What do you got there? This is cherry. It's a nice big one there. This is cherry. Show yeah, up there. It's a nice one. Nice, nice fire. And this is elm. This elm. is see this bark peeling off here. Yeah, this is dead. This is a dead elm. That's good. To, that should be cut right now while it's still good because it doesn't yeah, last right, long. Here's another one. Right this next is another one. elm. It's kind of alive. Yeah. And this is cherry over here. Yeah, another nice here's tree. another elm. This is live. This one's still live. Oh yeah, that's a nice. This one. is a nice moon. This is a nice tree. Yeah. And that's about all we got here. Other than there's a um, honeysuckle right here. Oh yeah, right this here. This is honeysuckle. Miserable stuff. Throws your chain yep. when you're cutting it. It's terrible. It's invasive. I hate everywhere. honeysuckle. Yep. Just hate you it. See them? Cut them down. <laughs> it comes right back. It's terrible I know. stuff. I know. 
And then right here, some more, uh, some more aspen. More aspen, you can see how green it is, how smooth it is. This younger stuff, this size, smoother. And as it gets older, it gets rougher. It starts looking more gray on the bottom like this. We should quit snowing. It'd be nice if it I'm quit. Sick of, I'm sick of winter, I'm sick of snowing. <laughs> so here I spotted, uh, as we were driving by, this is a thorn apple. Now, you'll be able to see, should be some thorns on here, yeah. Yep, spikes. So you see the little spikes on there? These right here, and they, they definitely are sharp. Yeah, this is a, this branch is dead, but. Looks yeah. a lot like, just like an apple tree when you look at yeah, it. Yeah, that's what they look like, but that's a thorn apple. And over here is some sumac. Yeah, we're gonna go over there in a second. I'm gonna get close to this thorn apple and show the bark. Yeah. It looks a lot like just an apple tree. Yeah, general. they don't get very big. This is about average size. Yeah. Kind of bushy, the but they're really good for the wildlife. They get little bitty red berries. Well, no, they're apples. Yeah, they're tiny though. They're tiny. Yeah. But the, the grouse love them, the deer love them in the fall. Yep. yep. So it's structure a lot like just like an apple they tree. They look like an apple tree, but that's thorn apple. Oh, it's that's thorn. a native wild tree here. How's the snow doing there? This is deep. Jesus. <laughs> okay, so here's some sumac. See our little red pods up there, whatever they're called. Oh, geez, that is deep there. Well, it's over your knees. So there's yep. sumac. Here's another thorn apple right here. Little one, yeah. Smaller one. Then over there, that looks like box elder. I can't tell, but I think that's a box elder, that clump right there. Yeah, it does look like old over Which there. Which we haven't done yet. There's yeah. a, that's another thorn apple right there, that crooked yeah. bushy thing. So the sumac, a big sumac. Well, here's a pretty big one right here, actually. Once they get to be about four or five inches, that's that's pretty big. That size right that's... there. But I've seen the biggest one I ever saw was about 10 inches. Yeah. And that's big. And it's real cool. Is he real yellow on the inside, right? Yeah, kind of a real greenish, yellowish. I don't Almost know. Almost it's real similar to uh, locust, but more yellowy on the inside. Let's go back out and walk on a snowbird trail over because I think that is a box elder. Okay, let's go over there. It's easier than walking through this snow. Right now. Okay, box elder. We spotted it, man. We we're finding uh, good mixtures here. Yeah, we're just driving around. Yeah, so it's, a lot of times it'll be purple little limbs like this with the buds. And then the bark looks a lot like maple. It, it looks kind of like a cross between maple and uh, white ash, kind of. Right. And it actually is a member of the maple family. Yes, it is. And a lot of people say it's trash tree, but it burns real good when it's dry. It's yeah, a, it burns. It's, it doesn't put a lot of BTUs out, but it's, there's nothing wrong with it for like fireplace wood, for sure. I did spot some more white spruce here. Okay, get that skyline of that one right there. Yep. That's, That's a right white there. spruce. That one. You can oh. just see the skyline of that. Yep. And the ones, he's actually all of those are white yep. spruce, yeah, all of those. Are. Yeah. Yeah, that's all white spruce in there. And there's a big one back there. That's a tall, big tree. Way, way back there. Way you back. Can see that's that. a big, big tree. Yeah, I know that's, that's probably 30 inches on the butt, maybe. It's 100 yards away. It's yeah, high. we're not going down in <laughs> no. that swamp hole. No. There's, there's a whole bunch of young aspen on the left up here. You can see the, the shape and color of those pretty well. So I we're doing this in the middle of winter with no leaves to these look are, at. These are balsam right here, Chris. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah that was a balsam, that's that a balsam. One that one. This is, these are white spruce. This is a spruce, this big yeah, boy here. More white spruce, this is a white spruce. These two in the middle with the pointy tips right. are balsam. Yep. So we were driving through town and we saw this big red oak here. You can see it's got a lot of firewood in it, but here's what the, the oak, the bark looks like up close. As you can see, it's a big red oak. That's a nice one. Again, we're going through town, and we saw this. This is some river birch here, different than yellow birch. You can see by the bark. Quite different, real, real flaky bark. Lots of branches, but real good firewood. These big tall ones right here, these are white spruce. Your yard trees. And then the ones in the middle. In the middle there is red pine. Yep. To the left there, that one tallest one on the left, that's a, a white pine. That one right there. Right yep. there. And then with all of them up on the hill there, them are all red reds. pine also. Yep. Those are reds, yep. And of course, out in the yard here with the leaves on, it's your red oak again, but them are yard trees, so that's what they look like. They get all bushy and 
which, you know, yard trees are yard trees. Leaves are still on from last year. And we're gonna go up in the woods up here. A couple species we did not see or talk about is I do have some uh, big tooth aspen up there, yellow popple, and I do have some scotch pine up. That great big double ugly tree is a big willow. And that no, cuts and burns real here. good. It's a big it's, one too. It's really a real big. soft, like, again, a hardwood. In my That's hand. an old, old gnarly tree. I cut That's a couple a down back here that were looking pretty sick. Nasty wood. Not good firewood. Good for fire kindling. That's about it. And, uh, and here's a basswood right here. Right here, this is a basswood. And right here's a white birch or paper birch. This is another clump of young uh, basswood over here, real smooth. Yep, so it looks like when it's young. Yeah, real smooth. And it gets older, it starts looking like this. But it grows in clumps a lot. So we're in a little clear cut here a couple winters ago. I logged this off and it's all coming back. This is all young aspen coming back. This is all yellow popple. The deer love it. They keep it browsed. You see where these are all kind of snapped off, chewed off? That's all from a deer. Yeah, right there. It's all from a deer. So this is all gonna come back up thick. We're looking up here at the hill. That is scotch pine. It looks similar to white pine, but that is scotch pine. It's got that real orangish color to it. Yeah, we're gonna walk up closer. Here's a scotch pine, it's similar to red pine, but different. And right behind me here, we have uh, yellow popple, big tooth aspen. We're gonna go up the hill here and find some bigger ones to give a better look. But there is a regular quaking aspen right over here, so there's a difference. These trees are about the same age. And this is just a regular what we call white popple versus a yellow popple. But it's quaking aspen is the official name. It's quite different. Yep. So this is young white pine when it's small versus the big gnarly ones. Real smooth. And then as it gets older, it's As it gets rough, older, it looks rough. like it looks like this one right here. Yep. And we'll go down here, there's a bigger one yet. Yeah, it starts to get real rough. And we'll come back here to this yellow popple here. Actually, here's yellow popple right here. It's a little bit bigger. Looks like that one died. But it's, it's a lot smoother. It's, I love cutting yellow popple, it's beautiful stuff. So here's a big, bigger white pine. I cut one down over here, it died a couple years ago. It was, I don't know, 30 inches on the stump. But it, this is a good size one here. So this is what white pine looks like when it gets a little I'm bigger. Sure. Yeah. And so here's the white pine leaves, or leaves, needles. Pull off a little versus, bit. Yep. Versus this is scotch pine. The scotch pine, the difference between scotch and red is they're shorter as far as in length. Yep. But they still grow in groups of two. We can go grab a red pine branch down by the house. And, uh, and, and white pine grows in clumps of five. You can see there's five needles there, and they're real, real soft needles, but there's five in each clump. Yeah. So, so we'll go down, we'll grab a we'll, we'll grab a red pine branch so we can compare, see them side by side. Okay, this is the cones. This is red pine. And it's got real round cones. They got the, the needles come out in a there's two. See yep. they're two together? Two together and they're pretty long. Okay, so the difference between that and the scotch pine is very similar. But see how much similar in the bark almost. Yeah, the bark, the trees look quite a bit alike. But see, now look at the length of the needles. There's scotch right there. And here's the red, so it's quite a bit of difference. Yeah, and right here's the uh, the red, and put the scotch down. And scotch is kind of closer to being like the earlier um, jack pine that we showed. Yeah, we should have brought that home, yep. yep. And then here's the white pine. And there's pine. your white pine. Real soft, real, real soft. Real soft, yep. And then these are more picky, and then these are real long. So yeah, these are gonna probably be your easiest ones because there's actually some needles to look at versus a bunch of naked trees in the winter. It's hard to identify. 
Yeah. So we're trying. We're trying to help you guys, but this is where we live and this is what we have. And yep. We didn't find everything. We got a list. Let's get the list and read the list I off. I do have a list. Yeah, there's a lot more yeah. that we didn't yeah. even see or find. Or We'll get the list and read it off, and we'll mark off what we found and what we didn't find so you know. Alrighty. Okay, so we just spent a couple hours driving around looking at trees. Yes, we did. We went a lot of places uh, that we had to go anyway, and we just stopped and saw things. So we found a bunch of them. So what do you got on your list? Well, we got 42 trees on the list. That are possible that you know of. Possibilities. Yep. I think we found 30. Yeah, I think around 30. There's, I, I'm going to tell you, here's the ones that we didn't see. We didn't see shag bark hickory. We didn't see butternut hickory. We didn't see butternut. We didn't see walnut. We didn't see hackberry. We didn't see a cottonwood. We didn't see any balmagillid. And we did not see a red cedar, a burr oak, or a white oak. Right. So pretty much, I can read you oh, through the list. One. Blue beech. Blue beech, we did not see a blue beech either. Right, and green ash. But that's green more ash. south anyway. Yeah, it's farther south. So read the list of what we found. We found 30, right? Okay, so what we found was sugar maple, red maple, box elder, red oak, yellow birch, paper birch, river birch, black ash, white ash, cherry, Ironwood, sumac, thorn apple, basswood, elm, white cedar, yeah. big tooth aspen, quaking aspen, willow, hemlock, tamarack, white pine, black spruce, Norway spruce, balsam fir, white pine, red pine, scotch pine, and jack pine. And we did it in the wintertime when it's hard. Yeah, yeah, it's. For people that have leaves on their trees all the time, or well, it's a lot easier. Of course, yeah. I can down south they lose their leaves too. But yeah, yeah, but it's but it's just a good. <clears throat> the thing is, is like we were talking. It's kind of like tying Boy Scout knots when you're in Boy Scouts. You learn about repetition, thirty different knots, and if you don't use them, you lose them. You lose them. <laughs> so right, right. you got to always be looking and always be studying. And a lot of people on my channel will comment and say, "Hey, Chris, can you tell me how to identify trees?" And they want me oh to type boy. that out. Yeah, no. <laughs> I could write a whole book. Yeah, the thing is, that depending on where the tree is growing, how old it is, you know, like out in the open, they look totally different. They look right. big bushes and in the woods. and right. Whether they got competition they're fighting against. Uh, Time of year, age of the tree. Yeah, where if it's dry conditions, wet conditions. Right. Barely hanging on tree or a healthy tree. It just, there's or so many dead tree. So yeah. many variables. Yeah. It's it's hard. But at least that's a little little <clears throat> bit there. And all I can say is, if you want to learn your tree species, get a book and start trying to identify every tree you see. That's the best way. Or go get a chainsaw, start logging. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it too. You'll learn. So that's it for today, folks. You know what to do? Poke the buttons, hit them all, hit the like, subscribe, share all that stuff. Tomorrow we're gonna be back in the wood yard. We're going to your woodward to do some work. Yes, we we're are. Go, finally, we're gonna go split some wood. That'll be on tomorrow's video. All right. Let's go do some work. Good night, Irene. <laughs>